do it. Ayaka, you're here! You're already here! Good morning. Xavier said yesterday afternoon went well. Yeah, and how about you, Ayaka? What were you up to yesterday? After we split up, Ayato went to see Udex. I was originally, so I rode the... Yeah, you wouldn't believe what we saw there! Two mechanical puppets that were dancing together! You've already seen them, right? Yeah, yeah, those two... We sat and watched for quite a while. Oh, it was the same for us. Afterwards, we went swimming at the beach. What? I held Ayaka's hand. First, I didn't dare to open my mouth. But once I couldn't hold my breath any longer, I decided to take a big breath in. <laughs> Before I knew it, I was breathing like normal down there. It was an amazing... I knew that the Traveler could do it, so I had no doubt we could do it too. That helped me... The underwater world in Fontaine truly is beautiful. I love seeing the Romero... Yeah, and there were so many... Like those fish that shimp... Oh, you mean hunters, rays, and blubber beasts. <laughs> I just love the name blubber beast. Yoimiya was down there for quite a while. It was dark before we... <laughs> yeah, even I... But as soon as I... Speaking of the fifth... My brother and Zok asked for the other... We're here. Please excuse my tardy... Wait! <sighs> Good morning, everyone. Morning. Mm, can... Sure. No, you can't go anywhere. I can get the coffee. It's the perfect job. Ugh, so much energy. Seriously, what's her secret? Oh, Yaimiya's always like that. But you sure look exa- Of course not. Wow, Paimon didn't expect you to be so- <laughs> Well, I was the biggest star in all- I went all out when I was acting as an art. Here's your coffee, Director Farina. Oh, thank you. <sighs> oh, it seems everyone has managed to arrive on- We've reached an agreement with the restaurant owner. We are free to use the second- Really? That's great! He is really looking forward to our film, and hopes that providing his restaurant as a film- Well then, Mr. Xavier. Okay, thanks! First, I'd like to introduce- This is our prop manager, Veronica, and this is Bono. Wow. Sure feels like we have some real perfect- First of all, please allow- When my investor informed- I had no idea that I'd find so many- No need to be so cordial, Mr. Xavier. We're all honored to be a part of this. Your works made a profound impression on me when I saw them back. I am sure that some- Yes. The story is the- Anyway, I would like to make a promise to everyone. This is not just my- So, without further ado, the- You may take it from here, Director Farina. All right. The first scene takes place when the two young musketeers are... Whoa. Seems... Is everyone clear? All right. Camera... Uh... Uh... See if... Anyway, let's go see if there's anything... Here. Mm, a little... You got it. Hey, Yoimiya, do you need a hand? No, no, I heard that the trap... Really? Is that because it'll be easy? Well, sh I just think that after all your journeys together, you two must have developed a super close bond and just naturally know how to work with each other. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's amazing to see the magic behind the... Yoimiya, we need lights over there. Oh, on it. I've got to get back to work. Chat with you later. Seems like Yamiya's really getting into it. But she was right. We do have a super close bond, don't we?
Nayaka has mentioned you to me before. She said that you two- No talking. Ah, yeah. To achieve a more- uh, Are you saying the wrinkles- You just have too much- <laughs> Quiet. So, this is a No, it's just a prop weapon. Not bad. Only in books and newspapers. When we're filming, so which means it'll be... <laughs> Thank you, Veronique. However, the musket's gears and firing pin could still use... Also, be sure... Good point. You seem to know a lot. Yes. I, I also... Yes. Yes. Well... S oh! Sounds like they found it. Though these props differ from the musket. Good. I look forward... First and foremost... Okay. Understood. When aiming the musket. If like this? Not bad. Now, try saying your lines. <clears throat> this is the end. Good. Now turn your body a little. This is the end of the road for you. Huh. Excuse me, Miss Chiori. Director Farina, there's something I wish to discuss with you. Oh? What is it? Like this? Yes, much. What do you think? Mm hmm. Uh I believe it would be. Well, if you insist. <clears throat> Miss Ayaka. Huh? What's going on? Are we gonna- Let's go see. What is it? I have a question for you- Uh, what? To clarify, I would like to turn over my role. But, brother- Don't worry, Ayaka. I actually view- I was becoming troubled trying to set aside some time to speak to the staff. Now, I will be able to focus on my work. Besides, you also know that I'm not really one for public performances. <sighs> From a director's point of view, I also felt like the older brother in the story plays the lead role with his overbearing character. But this... But... Also... Of course. Even with all these insights. Uh... Shepard's mentioned that she really likes the story, right? All right. Good. It will also... <laughs> You're doing a great favor. Don't mention it. I like this character, so if anything... Well... Since my brother is the one who brought up the idea, let's go, Miss Chef. Please, just call me. Seems like you're really going out of your way to solve the problem. Surely you jest, Chiori. I... Oh, come on, you... Perhaps. But I feel that she needs not only to see other names. All right, go on, spoil... Ayato! It's too bad you're stepping down from the role. Paimon really wanted to see you act as a musket... <laughs> no need to poke fun at... <laughs> It's a little hard for Paimon. Yes. I've Traveler, get the camera ready. <laughs> Go on now. Yep, don't worry. Thank you. All right. Now that we're all here, let me help set the scene for everyone. The first scene takes place when our two main characters are still living at the Baron's estate. They've been ostracized and verbally abused by others in the household, but they still have no idea why. We want to capture how naive and innocent Chevris will be playing the role of the older sister, Tulip, and Ayaka will be the younger sister. Silence on the set! Lights! Camera! Action! Let's go! Tulip! Perhaps she went- Iris, to leap! I'm home! Mother! You were out for so long, we were beginning to worry about you! Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm back now, safe and sound. Here, I brought your favorite treat! Apple turnovers! Mother, what are those bruises on your hand? Huh? What bruises? But I didn't notice them this morning. Then perhaps they're from when I accidentally tripped. By the way, did you have fun playing at home? <sighs> What's the matter, Iris? Well, they even took our... <gasps> and they even... Shh! It's all right, don't worry. <sighs> Girls, it doesn't matter. You both have... What? Maybe your time to blossom hasn't quite come. Don't let the soil you're in now ruin your future beauty. Understand? My dear daughters. And cut! Not bad. The act also, if our clapper loader could have. Oh! Uh <sighs> Great. I felt fine. 
Crystal. <laughs> you two were great. I thank you for your encouragement. Positions, everyone! We'll move on to the next scene after we try a few more camera angles. This scene is when our two characters return home, only to dis- Mother, we're back, mother. <gasps> What's wrong? Iris, stay away. Huh? Why? <gasps> mother. <laughs> There's poison in this cup. Huh? Iris, we need to leave. But now anywhere. We'll have our revenge, I promise you. Just not right now. <laughs> Come on, let's go. No, we can't just leave Mother here like this. At least... <laughs> at least let me leave this rose with her. That's why we went out in the... All right. Goodbye, Mother. We'll avenge you. Someday. And cut! Beautiful! Great perform- Oh my, you're so amazing, Ayaka! I was surprised, too. Thank you for the kind- It's quite similar to Ayaka's perform- Pipe down, everyone! Traveler, is your arm sore from holding the camera all day? Good work, you two. You too, Chevrolet. You are quite the actress. I've read this novel m anyway. Oh, right! You have a case in the story, and on each of the victims, they yes. That oh, that does, especially after see uh, uh, what are you good? Uh, there's no time to lose. Huh? The most valuable that's how one of my favorite. Let's start by checking out some workshops that sell mechanical components. If the Welcome to Le Show's Clockwork Workshop. Hello. I'd like to... Special com... I mean the kind of components that aren't... Huh? For fun? Don't misunderstand. Well, to be... Has anyone ever... We have a lot of customers. Hmm. Is that so... You're welcome. It's the... Take it easy. Chevrous. Hello, Estelle. I. Oh, is this another case? I don't think so. Oh, why is that? Because there's no problem. Then has anybody come specifically looking? Well, hmm. I understand. Don't mention it. Seems like we haven't found any leads to go off. Yeah, unfortunately. Huh? Are you? You think so, huh? Then I. Huh? That I grew up in.
I'd like to ask some questions. I don't know. Don't worry. I'm... You say it? It's the truth. Here. Take this. Wait. Did Paimon just see what she thinks she saw? Is the captain of the special patrol bribing us? Seems you're... What do you want to know? Have you heard anything? Muskets, huh? Were they gunshots? Possibly. Someone's house. Do you know where the noises were coming? I don't remember. Uh, is... You tell me. Then please. Think about it some... Uh, she's giving her even more, Mora! The noises came from the end of the southern waterway. I came out and had a look for myself, and I was... That's all I know. All right. I'll take your word for it. Thanks for the pot de fruit. Uh, uh. No need to be surprised. I grew up here, remember? Seems you catch on pr- Now then, let's keep going. It's been a while. Please. Just I want to know if you've heard any information isn't free, you know. I've heard that bandits <laughs> one of our men got drunk at dinner about What's weird about that? This is Fluff Sandra, but that gun turned out to be an exception. I suspect it came back because You mean a I didn't say anything about In Fluff Sandra, it's the guy living in the e So, who Yeah. No but He's right. I know you grew up here, even though you're on good terms with the Spina. I know. So take my advice. I'll come and go as I... All right. Don't say I didn't want... Yes, but have a closer look. Hmm? Even though somebody has purposefully tried to clean them up, these are obviously marks from musket bullets. In other words, someone was here trying to improve their shot. They were using the bear. <gasps> Your guess is as good as mine. Anyway, let's go. Seems like that's all we'll be. Kind of feels like we man. Yes. A month ago, are in the following weeks, then a few days. Hmm. That all makes sense to Paimon, but we're still no closer to figuring out the killer's identity. The deceased was a resident of Fluff Sandra. It's said that he was a poor. Yeah, that's also something I'm trying to figure out. If we are indeed following the no- He was no saint, but no one's heard of a rival who hated him enough to shoot him dead. Much less care to leave a rose on his body. What message is the killer trying to convey? And to whom exactly? We've thoroughly investigated that. He claims to have spent- Okay, so he has- Not only that, he has a family of his own. In the story, more importantly- Then- Investigations take- t How about this? Let's spend the next few days filming with the crew. We can continue the investigate. Wait, but we're- Ah, but the- Oh? What? As long as you spend enough time sailing through the fog. <laughs> 